Sigma 56 millimeters f1.4 in real world use. Let me share with you my review in real world use of this lens on Fujifilm X-T5. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about photography tips and tricks and photography gear. And now I want to review Sigma 56mm f1.4 on my Fujifilm X-T5. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel and let's get to the subject. First of all, I really like how pictures are looking when you are shooting a 56mm f1.4 or an f1.2 lens on your Fujifilm X. T camera or X Pro camera or X camera. But I didn't bought the Fujifilm 56mm f1.2 because it was a very slow lens and the new lens it is very expensive for someone who is using these lenses for hobby and again it is big and the news about the AF of the 56mm f1.2 aren't good news. So I've decided to use my Sigma 56mm f1.4 on my Fujifilm X-T5. Before that I had Viltrox 56mm f1.4 and I've sold that Viltrox but I'll do a comparison between Viltrox and Sigma. So let's get straight to the most important point for me that it's AF. I feel that the AF of Sigma on Fujifilm X-T5 is a mixed result AF. You don't get consistent results. So personally, as a Sony user, I would not use this lens in even photography. I feel that the AF on X-T5 is not something that will help me get good pictures. I feel that the AF will not help me get the decisive moment. I have lots of missed focuses in low light with this lens. It's focusing slow when you don't have light on your subject. If you have light on your subject, you'll have acceptably sharp pictures, but I feel the missing rate is around 40%, more or so. So you can't rely on this lens that you'll get the decisive moment if you want to use a lens like this in street photography or in event photography. So the AF it is really not on par with other Fujifilm lenses like 50mm f2 or with the Sigma 30mm f1.4. Yes, the image quality and we will discuss immediately about the image quality. It is great, but the AF it's something mixed. So you can't rely on it for the moment. We will see if Fujifilm will finally bring an update to the X-T5 AF. But at this moment, the AF algorithm of X-T5 with the Sigma is not bringing better results. So you'll get pretty sharp pictures, in focus pictures, but from time to time you will miss the focus. And in street photography in low light, you really don't want to use it from my point of view. Firmware 2.0 update. So I've decided to test again Sigma before publishing this video with the new firmware from Fujifilm because how I've said I was very unsatisfied with Fujifilm AF with Sigma. But for my surprise, I'm very amazed and very satisfied now with the AF of X-T5 with Sigma 56mm f1.4. My settings were the following. AFC, continuous focusing, eye tracking and the tracking box was set to tracking. And Fujifilm with Sigma detected the eye better than before. But what is interesting is that before Fujifilm was releasing showing a green box, but now even if the eye was in focus, how I was seeing on the screen, the box didn't confirm the AF and X-T5 didn't release. So it worked great because I had more pictures in focus like 90% or even so, but it didn't release. Also, I have AFC to release just when the focus is confirmed. But this is interesting because before the firma 2.0, X-T5 confirmed the focus, it was releasing, but the eye and the subject wasn't in focus. Now it's taking the shot just when the focus is confirmed and indeed the pictures are in focus. Overall, I've got better results 
but also I've got lesser released focuses. So if you want more pictures and if you don't want to lose the decisive moment and you are okay with some pictures out of focus, you can set the AFC to release priority, not to release when the pictures is in focus. So overall a better experience, but I would not say a greater experience compared to a Fujifilm 50mm f2 or to a Fujifilm 35mm f2 or even to Fujifilm 35mm f1.4. The test was in backlighting conditions, how you are able to see it's working much better than before. It's a usable body and lens for even photography, for wedding photography, for street photography, I would say in this moment. But again, don't expect results like on Fujifilm with 35mm f2, with 50mm f2 and so on. So it's working. The pictures are in focus when Fujifilm is confirming focus, but it will not release and it will not acquire focus with confirmation so fast as other lenses. So this is my update for Sigma with Fujifilm X-T5 firmware 2.0. Before discussing about image quality, let me share with you my impression about the combo, how Sigma is staying on my X-T5, because this was one of the reasons that I've sold my Viltrox, because I felt that that Viltrox lens was a little big, was a little longer, and I really love the fact that the Sigma, it is very compact and the weight again is okay. So I really like this combo. Regarding a small combo for the 85 meters field of view, Sigma with X-T5 is a great combo. It's at the limit regarding the weight from my point of view as an everyday carry, but you can use this as an everyday carry using a small bag. And I really like the combo. It is very well balanced. It's looking like a Minolta lens and you will get great results if you have patience with the AF. Now let's talk about the image quality of Sigma 56mm f1.4 on X-T5. Well, I feel the image quality, it is great, it is outstanding, it is very, very good. You get very good image quality. The rendering of the Sigma 56mm f1.4, it is on the modern side, you'll get Sigma colors, that uh, pastel colors, you'll get modern sharpness, you'll get a very nice blurry background and you will get a very good subject to background separation. So I'm loving the results, the colors, the sharpness of this Sigma. But on the other side, I'm missing the vintage look of my Viltrox 56mm f1.4. So, again, at this point, personally, I would prefer the Viltrox on my X-T5. The image quality, again, I don't have nothing to complain. It is great, but I especially like the vintage look, the vintage glass that melted background from a vintage lens. And Viltrox is using that kind of glass. So image quality, great, but is looking like a modern lens. So if you are into this, you will have no worries. Another big advantage of this lens, it is minimum focus distance. The Fujifilm 56mm f1.2 has the same minimum focus distance as this lens. And this lens, it is way, way less expensive than the 56mm f1.2 from Fuji. And in my point of view, regarding minimum focus distance and portraits, you are there with this lens. Of course, not there, but enough, enough. The big package of the 56mm f1.2 and the price for me personally are not compelling at all, especially regarding that they didn't bring to the table a fast AF. Just take an 85mm f1.8 full frame lens and you will see how fast those lenses and how accurate those lenses are focusing. I feel that we don't have an equivalent lens like this on Fujifilm from my point of view. The next point is the price. This is where Sigma wins. You can get this Sigma for an excellent price, brand new, and also for an excellent price on the used market. 
does it deserve the price i always get the question how i will make money for my photography hobby how i will make money from content creation for this i've made a special report five essential tools to grow your photography business you can get this free report and access to my business newsletter where i will share with you free valuable actionable content for my 20 plus years experience in growing online businesses it's not about the photography skills it's it's not about the photography gear it's especially about business skills if you want to make money from your hobby so if you are into this kind of content please subscribe now to my business newsletter and instantly you'll receive my top five essential tools that will help you grow and start your photography content creation business type the short link in your browser or access it in comments or even here in this youtube video well i feel that yes I feel that yes, Sigma deserves the price and if you use just Fujifilm system and if you want an all around 85 equivalent lens for your portraiture photography or for your street photography, you can accept the AF mixed results of this lens and go with the modern look of this lens. Yes, you can opt for the Viltrox, but um, the Viltrox is not so sharp at f1.4 but Viltrox will give you again a more vintage look but the package again will be bigger and will not have the minimum focus distance as good as Sigma so this is why I feel that Sigma 56mm f1.4 it is the best choice even if it has some flaws if Viltrox will bring a new Mark III 56mm f1.2 lens to the market with better minimum focus distance with better AF and with better sharpness at f1.4 smaller I will for sure opt for Viltrox because I'm really a big fan of Viltrox glass and soon I will do a review of Viltrox 20mm f1.4 on my xt5 please subscribe now to my channel check my newsletter for more photography tips and tricks and news for me link in the comments and description and also check my affiliate links if you want to buy something from the gear that i use and recommend on this channel thank you give it a like and i'll talk to you soon bye bye